Hello everyone, it's me, Kenyatta, and today I'm here to show you how to style four outfits for the summer. So for my first fit, I decided to do something that's a little bit more summer focused, but a little bit of a formal touch to it. So I went with this or slow, like hickory stripe button up shirt. The material on it's really soft, you know, very clean cut, but also looks good with shorts if you want to wear it unbuttoned, button up. It's perfect. These needle nylon shorts, these are just such a perfect, you know, option to go with a button up shirt. A little bit more breathability, but, you know, upping it a little bit, making it a little, a little bit more formal. Shoes. Shoes, we decided to go with these. Solomon's. You can't go wrong with these. Super comfortable for walking around, you know wearing with pants, shorts, however you want to wear them, if you want to go hiking or whatever. It's a good all-day shoe. I love these sneakers, so. That was an option for fit one. So for look two, I kind of want to think about something that can be worn on a maybe everyday basis, but something that can be also worn in the office, which is kind of the idea for a lot of these fits. So for the first piece, we went with this engineered garments like cardigan. So this kind of reminds me of like almost like a summer blazer style, but in a cardigan approach. So I think this is such a perfect piece to wear over a t-shirt or a button-up shirt for the summer because it'll allow for a bit of breathability without getting too hot. We went with this Arbitur like striped t-shirt. This kind of takes me back to like when I was younger. All I used to wear was striped t-shirts, so I still love them. And then it's just like a perfect color. The quality is super nice, but with it being a, like a little bit more sturdy of a t-shirt, wearing it with this breathable cardigan adds for a nice outfit. We'll bump it up a little bit. Then we went with these Universal Works shorts. These shorts really caught my eye because, you know, they're a nice canvas material, look formal, but they have more of like a, more of a easy going, simple approach. So you can dress them up with this cardigan and make them look a bit more formal. So I went with these, plus the color is just beautiful. You know me, I like green. And then topping it off with these brown Hender Scheme loafers, which I think just, you know, elevates the outfit completely. So that is fit too. So for look three, I decided to go with something that's, this is kind of the intro to the pants for the summer. So the top that I went with was this Howland's corduroy button up shirt. When I saw it, it just caught my eye. I'm like, it's amazing. It looks really good on. And it kind of almost reminds me of like a, like a chef's shirt a little bit. But I also like how they did this brick with the white corduroy. It just brings it up to a different level for me. So this was the top that we chose for this one. Uh, we'll be wearing a white t-shirt under it because I just think it'll look nice and button it up a few buttons and just kind of let it hang. 
bottoms can never go wrong with these i don't care how many times i put this in the video timeless uh we went with the or slow fatigues these are the regular fit ones i'm more of a bag your pants guy myself but i just think you know you can make them look really good depending on how you wear them so just clean you know almost everyday pant to be worn with maybe potentially any of these outfits and that's kind of the idea to like what of these things can be swapped in and out but um, these are the pants to go with and then keeping it classic and timeless Doc Martin 3i perfect can't go wrong with this you want to wear them with shorts you want to wear them with pants you know however you want to wear them dress anything but it's extremely versatile can never go wrong. They look good age, so if you want to wear them every single day, that's good. If you want to have specific outfits or if you want to dress them up, you know, can never go wrong with these. So these are the shoes for the Fit 3. fourth and final look of your summer I decided to go with a bottom that's a little bit out there for me but I thought is really cool and I think could work in any sort of situation whether you're in the office or you're going to a lunch or you're going out to dinner or you're just doing whatever so we'll start with the top lady white polo, a little cream color, shout out Gannon. They didn't have a white polo, so you know what the deal is. You gotta, you gotta go for the second best option. So we did the white, I mean off-white polo. These bottoms are sick. They're a YF, like striped linen pant. They're super comfortable very light so you know it's kind of that it's going to get pretty hot soon you know i still want to wear pants and i want to wear something that's a little bit more breathable this is a good option it's kind of a different pattern than something that most people would go for but i think that's perfect for the summertime you got to break in you know, different colors and everything i'm a pretty minimal person on the color and the approach of things but i like to have stuff like this in my wardrobe just you know Get a little funky every now and then, so. In the shoes. Can't do a video without having some vids for a minute. So we went with the white canvas deck shoe. I think it'll look really good. Kind of adds for a little like taller, you know, feel and look for the pants. I think it just kind of brings it out, but I think these are a nice go-to if you want a different option, but something that's a little bit kind of elevates the everyday shoe we kind of see on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is going to be the footwear for Fit4. saw all the fits you know take it as you do I don't know. it's uh it's summertime it's gonna be hot we're going back into the office so I wanted you guys to have options to kind of think about that and play with and you know have a versatile approach to what the summer looks like it's gonna be different for everybody but why not start somewhere? So let us know what you liked, 
let us know something that you might be into, what you want to see next, you know, whatever on your mind. We're here for you and we'll see you soon. Thank you.